Hey y'all, it's Krista. So um, this is going to be my first premiere. It is Sunday and I am following Britt Clayton. Um, I will put her link in the description box on, if you aren't subscribed to her, you need to be because she's awesome. Um, this is a collaboration that we decided to do together where we had to use certain colors and we had to use a certain size canvas and we had to do a galaxy pour. And the reason why we chose the galaxy pour is because it's something that neither one of us has ever done. We are not allowed to scrape and start over. We have to show our first attempt at it. So um, the colors that she picked for me is made my brain go blah because purple and yellow we all know what that makes um and then add lime green in with it that's an even better combination so um you know just like last week this painting right here um i used 31 colors and all those colors were in it and i was able to do it without making mud so i hope you enjoy this first premiere and we'll get eric to get us down to the canvas All right, so as I was told, this is a 24 inch by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas. And I have taped the back and put in my push pins, all the things. And I'm gonna use this cup, but let me show you what I'm using. I hardly have any yellow in all the paints that I have. I've probably had this paint for over a year. And uh, this is Metallic Lemon Yellow by Artist Loft. And the purple that I'm using is the Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. This is a yummy color. And the green that I'm using, the lime green, is the Iridescent Green Yellow by PBO. And then, I'm using Modern Masters Venetian Blue. We all know how yummy that is. And I added a little bit of Deco Art Satin Enamels and the Dark Denim to that so I can see what it does because we already know that the Venetian Blue makes amazing stuff happen. So let's see what the double does. And then I'm using Global Colors, the Blue Lagoon, and I added a little bit of the Golden Iridescent Pearl Fine to it just to give it that shimmer because we all like things sparkly. And instead of using the regular 24K, I'm using the Deco Art Extreme Sheen in the 24K. Um, I only had a half a bottle, so I wanted to use it up so that, you know, out of this, with your mix, um, you can get two uses out of this one bottle. So I love this stuff. All right, uh, let's put my other glove on. Now, the both of us binge watch Sarah Mack because, you know, she is the queen of a galaxy pour. And because I'm using, oh, and my white is my usual uh, Amsterdam titanium white with uh, Deco art, satin enamels, and the pure white. So, okay, we're gonna layer this cup up. And I think I'm gonna start it out with the Blue Lagoon. And Sarah says your paints have to be thick, thick. So, you know, um, I use mix, so they're thick, thick. Um, I think I'm going to put yellow on top of that. The metallic lemon yellow. And then I'll put some gold on top of that. Bella's going to now not bark and she's going to chew on her elk horn. Because why not, right? Then I'm going to lock it in. As you know, I always do that. And... Then I'm going to add a big chunk of this Venetian blue. God, I love this color. 
and then I'll use the iridescent green yellow and then I'm going to use the blue lagoon again and then I'm going to use the permanent blue violet but I'm going to put a big chunk of that in too And then I'm going to use gold. And I'm going to lock it in. And then I'll use the Venetian blue. A big chunk. And then the yellow again. Yellow makes me nervous, y'all. So I'm trying to keep it away from that purple. And use the iridescent green yellow. And I'll end it with the blue lagoon. Okay, I've got lots of things I can use as flow extenders. That is good news. All right, so I'm gonna set this aside and I'm going to not thin this down. Normally I would thin it down so that I could get pearl cells on the side. I'm not doing that this time. I'm gonna pour it in full strength right in the middle. so that we have something to pour into. Okay, I'm gonna torch that. And of course y'all know that I mixed all my paints with mix and um, Britta does too. She loves the stuff and she's really doing some innovative stuff with mix. So if you haven't checked her out, you definitely need to go and check her out because She's doing stuff I didn't even think to do. All right, I'm gonna spin this around a little bit. Because I see bubbles popping up. And I'd like to get them while I can. That's a stubborn little bubble right there. I'll get it with my sticky stick. Sticky stick, savior, savior of the day every time. All right, so this is my first attempt at a galaxy pour. And let's hope that I can do as well as Sarah. And I've already seen Brits, so hers is pretty awesome too. All right, let's go up high, bring it in. Up high again and bring it down. And I'm just gonna let it let it do its thing now. This paint is thick. She didn't tell me whether I was allowed to wreck it or not. So I don't think I'm going to. Try to catch it good. 10 on the dismount. Yay! Y'all, I got this new paper towel holder and it's driving me crazy. I need to figure out how to make it so that it's not um, preventing me from getting a paper towel. Okay, what do I want to do? So 
This is really pretty in here. I'm loving what it's doing. You know, she she picked some crazy colors for me, but I definitely don't have mud. And I think it's thanks to mix that I don't have mud. So, all right, I'm just thinning down my flow extenders now because what was in the cup isn't enough to cover this canvas. So I'm gonna put the Blue Lagoon up here. I love an empty cup, y'all. It's my favorite. And I'm gonna water down this permanent blue violet. And I'm gonna put it in the corner down here by me on your right, my left. Because there's a whole bunch of purple already down here. stick myself in it. All right, then I'm gonna put some water in this PBO. You know, I had someone ask me today, why do you only put in a little bit at a time? Because water and mix goes a very, very long way. So if you add too much, it's hard to bring it back. You know, once once you get it thin, that's it. You got to use it thin. Adding more mix is not always the savior of that. So you got to be patient. You just got to do a little bit at a time. Um. All right. I'm gonna use this blue because I'm scared of that yellow next to the purple up here. It scares me. I don't, I don't like being scared. And I definitely don't want to make mud in a corner somewhere. I don't know if I have enough in here to do this. Oh, I guess we'll figure it out. Because we're gonna use the omelet turner and we're gonna spread it all out anyways. cups. Empty cups are the best. Okay. Try to keep myself out of my painting. I'm going to put this away. My dog is nuts. I'm sure you can hear her. She's lost her mind. Okay, we're gonna spread this out. I'm sorry that I don't edit my videos uh, so that you don't watch me do this, but you know, I don't want you to think I'm keeping any secrets or anything like that. I just don't edit. It's easier on me anyways. It's a learning channel, so we're all learning together. I love having y'all here and I love your comments. Y'all are sweet. Okay. All right, I'm gonna set this aside. We'll clean it later and put it up there. Okay, let's give this a torch. 
There's some cool stuff happening. I think I like that I added the dark denim to the Venetian blue because I think it's giving me some awesome looking cells. Okay. All right, let's tilt this out. I'm just spinning it around, seeing what the paint wants to do. Bring it down towards y'all. I think I'm just gonna take it right off that corner. Walk it, and then bring it back. And my slippers that I already messed up because I knew I was doing this big canvas and last time I did a big canvas like this I got paint on my tennis shoes so I already have paint on my slippers so I might as well right I'm just walking it Colors are kind of cool, but man, were they scary. She thought I was being mean by putting Reflex Rose on her list and uh, Reflex Orange. She's funny. All right, I'm glad that I took my center off here because I think it's gonna do some awesome stuff now. Let's stretch that out. All right, well, let's take the fun down to this corner. If this moved any slower, it would be stopped, right? It's moving though. This is like Yoda's galaxy. That yellow, <laughs> that greenish, that uh, iridescent green yellow. It's funky. Okay. I'm gonna turn around again. And we're gonna take it down to this corner. Oh, that's the corner I haven't gotten yet. We're just moving it all over the place, y'all. I've got some sweet cells popping up though. I hope y'all can see that. Oh dear lordy goodness. <laughs> it's moving, but it's taking its time. It's in no hurry. Sometimes you don't want it to be in a hurry. I see a goob in here, I'm looking at it. I don't know where the goob came from, but I'm definitely gonna have to get it. Okay. All right, getting the goob, I have to wipe my hands off so I don't drip. 
but I just can't handle a goob right here. See that goob? Now I'm gonna go in and fix it. Okay. All better. Okay. Back to tilting now that my goober's gone. We're gonna go down this way, and then we're just gonna be done. Oh, de dum de dum. So I, I wonder, do y'all have your Christmas shopping done? Because if you do, give me hints because mine is not. Um, buying something for Eric. Um, I found something and hoped that I'd be able to get my hands on it, but I cannot. So um, it would have it would have made him very, very happy if I could have gotten him this gift. Um, but that's okay. Christmas is all about giving and the magic and all the things and that's the way it should be okay I'm gonna spin it around this way and I'm just gonna pull it back and try to get the weight of my paint where it needs to be then I'm gonna bring you down for the close-up green and yellow woof it's crazy all right I'm gonna leave her alone scrape my edges make sure I got my corners No, that one's not done because I saw it. I was like, well, I'm gonna have to get that. Okay, let me take off my gloves and bring you down for the close up. These cells, y'all. You know, this color that you're looking at, it's it looks exactly as it does in, in my eye. It's, it's not the camera, it's really that weird color. But the cells are awesome. I really, I really do believe that adding the dark denim to the Venetian blue created some of this awesome stuff. I mean, look right here. Look at the transparency in there. That's super cool. Look at those cells. So awesome. I'm getting gold cells inside that weird spine looking thing. Because it really does kind of look like a spine. Oh my goodness, 24 inch by, look at right here. Cellorama. And then you come up here, and you see all these little bouldery things. Loving that. Look at that cute cell right there. The one that, here, let me see if I can point to it. That one. Super fun. All right, and then that's it. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this first premiere. And um, you gotta go check out Brit. She's awesome. 
All right, I hope you all have a wonderful Sunday, and I'll see you all soon. Bye, y'all.